Over a billion people live on less than one dollar a day. They are the people who have the most suffering and they are the people who we can potentially help the most. If you think about giving every single person who lives on a dollar a day an additional dollar a day, that would cost you $365 billion a year. It is essential that we work out how to use that money in the most effective way that alleviates suffering most efficiently. We now have a large number of charities that are giving direct cash transfers. The evidence shows that these are remarkably effective at reducing poverty. We now have a solid benchmark, something that we should never do worse than, and we use cash as a benchmark to understand how well we are doing. The Rangpur region of northwestern Bangladesh is characterized by a seasonal famine where every year there's low availability of food and work and people go hungry. Remarkably, this seasonal famine does not occur in the capital city, Dhaka. In 2008, we ran some experiments in which we subsidized a small number of migrants to move from Rangpur into Dhaka. We see that this significantly proves their consumption and their family well-being. We also compare it to a direct cash transfer and show that the subsidy to migration improves welfare by more. The language of economics, rightly or wrongly, is the language used by public policymakers. This course gives you a wonderful opportunity to practice using that language in an applied real-world setting. Part of my task is to try to give those people a taste of what it's like to think more rigorously about these questions. Can we be more humble, gather more data, and therefore do things that more efficiently help to alleviate suffering? Every single economist who will teach you is actively involved in trying to make the world a better place. <laughs>